Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about group email lists. Now the system is set up very similarly to Google Groups or Yahoo Groups in that if you email this address, it'll be forwarded to all of the people associated with that email list. And much like those other systems, you can control who has permission to email these lists. The difference is with Google or Yahoo Groups, you have to manually update those every single time someone's membership status changes. In Course Connection, these email lists are tied directly to those fields in the database. So, for example, when you add a bunch of new members to Course Connection, they'll automatically get added to the active email list. If those members go on leave of absence, they'll automatically get removed from that list and added to the LOA list. The same is true for sections. And the third type of group email address are custom groups, which is great if you want to include your board of directors in course connection. It also makes it easy to email small ensembles if your organization has any of those. Basically, this is totally customizable and you can use it as is appropriate for your organization. And that is a rough overview of group email lists in Course Connection.